All right, I am here with King Tut, <laughs> also known as the Blue Beanie, but I really would like to see you do that gimmick again because uh, that was one of my favorite characters in Batman. I said that'd be something I could do for like Jakar or something like that. They could bring in Batman, I'll be King Tut and stuff like that, but uh, uh, who knows? <laughs> I could really pitch you in the robe that he used to wear on the show. Oh, yeah, why not? But I need a lot of. Uh, uh, silkworms to make a lot of material to, for me to wear the the robe and stuff like that but yeah that'd be cool yeah why not i'm game i've done crazier things than that so the the real question would be would you use the music that king tut had in batman or would you use the king tut song that uh was popular for a while there or i could get the uh steve martin king version of king tut or something like that just to put a little comedic spin on it you know yeah. how's your comedy going these days uh, I laugh at myself, so you know, I guess it's going pretty well, you know. Uh, I always try to be entertaining, whether it's in the ring or on social media, and just trying to keep in the, the con consciousness of the public consciousness. Uh, we'll just cut until this. Uh, We're getting ready to close the room. If you can finish your last minute transactions, that conversation. And next to the room, we'll a pro wrestling going on across the hall trying to start against it. Thank you, and have a wonderful evening. And begin. Uh, no, seriously, uh, whether it's in the ring or social media, I always try to have a little bit of comedic tinge to it. Because, you know, a lot of people go out there, everybody wants to shoot, and everybody wants to do the negative and stuff like that. I try to be happy. I'm happy meanie. I want to get along with everybody. I want everybody to have fun and be happy and laugh, you know. And speaking of shoots, for anyone that wants to see your full shoot interview, it is on the Hannibal TV. And despite you not actually really shooting on anybody, it's had a lot of views and people have had a very positive reaction to it. Oh, that's very cool, man. Uh, like I said, you know, everybody wants to, yeah, it's, it's, you see some shoots and you're wondering, like, what's the agenda? Uh, when, when, and I, I'm glad you did the shoot with me because, I, I mean, I, I watched his channel. I'm not just saying that. I watch the channel all the time. I'm always watching the clips and stuff like that. But it was cool to be on there and just tell my story and uh, give an updated view of my career. You know, because sometimes you'll do an interview and you'll forget something. But your, your interviews are so thorough that it'll trigger something I forgot to talk about before in my, you know, in past interviews. And. I had, I had such a good time. I'm glad it got such a positive feedback, you know, and from the fans and a lot of some of the wrestlers reached out to me privately and said they enjoyed it as well. So I'm gonna guess one of those wrestlers was not JBL. <laughs> hey, you know, me, me, everybody, everybody goes, you know, you know, everybody wants to talk about that, but me and John are cool. So, you know, uh, he's doing this thing. He's doing good stuff with charity and. Uh, a few years ago, he almost like, got me into the uh, the Royal Rumble. So, you know, and we we still talk. We talk football and stuff like that. He graduated me when the Eagles won the Super Bowl and stuff like that because I'm a super nerd when it comes to the Philadelphia Eagles. So, but uh, no, a lot of the wrestlers did reach out and stuff like that, and uh, they said they enjoyed it. So, and thank you for having me. Oh, it was my pleasure. And uh, what brings you here this week? Uh, I've always wanted to come to the the Cauliflower Alley. Uh, convention and every time I go you know what this year I'm gonna go and I look at the schedule and go oh it's next week and I you know and so I finally I made a concerted effort you know to join because it's long overdue if you're in the wrestling business or in a, or are an aspiring aspiring wrestler you should join the cauliflower alley you know just because it's the right thing to do from the aspect of we take care of our own so uh, I joined, uh, I looked up the schedule, and I made sure I was going to be here. And uh, I'm going to make a concerted effort to be here next year and every year, year afterwards because it really is a cool environment. You get to see people you don't get to see all the time. You get to reminisce, and you get to share stories and experiences and uh, make new friends. And that's why I'm here. I'm here to reminisce with people I haven't seen in forever and make new friends because this is the business I love and this is the, the business who made me you know I really don't know where I would have been without you know professional wrestling so and you're also here to drink beer according to your social media yeah <laughs> yeah yeah I'm, uh, uh, my, my favorite line is you know when I'm having a drink to, to hold my calls so I'll post a photo of my beer the, the history of the, the hold my calls 
story is. One time I checked into a, a restaurant and I'm sitting there having dinner and then the waitress comes over, like in the movies, with a cordless phone on the plate going, are you Brian? I go, yes. I take the phone and it's a little kid, a little 12 year old kid who follows me on social media, saw me checked in, saw the address and phone number, decided to call me at the restaurant. So anytime from there on when I checked in on social media, I would check in as I left, but you know, if I go to have a drink, I go hold my calls because you know, if somebody wants to call the, the bar while I'm having a drink, I'm having none of it. So that's the story of the hold my calls. So yeah, I've had a few uh, adult sodas this weekend, but uh, you know, it's, it's all in a uh, good time. It's like, this is business and pleasure, you know, business meaning the wrestling people and being with my wrestling people and then the pleasure of just having a vacation where I don't have to worry or think about anything. No, so it's, it's a great time. It's a great time. And for future Cauliflower Alley conventions, everybody should come on out because it's a great time. And to wrap this up, since they're kicking us out of here, do uh, you want to remind people where they can follow you on social media? Uh, you can follow me on Twitter at Blue Meanie BWO, Instagram at Blue Meanie BWO, and you can look up my uh, real name on Facebook, uh, Brian Heffron. Uh, you know, if you want to support the Blue Meanie, go to ProWrestlingTees.com slash the blue meanie or no, i'm sorry you effed up you effed up uh go to proreslantees.com slash blue meanie got all my blue meanie gear there and uh you know thanks for uh, caring <laughs> you know you know you, you get out of the public eye for so long and sometimes people forget you but i'm i'm grateful anybody remembers and uh still willing to support so thank you